The carpool with Trey. Happy to be back. Happy to be You're back. the first person seeing it coming back hey, at the podcast, man. I'm, I'm the first reoccurring guest. Brother. Yes, sir. Uh, you want to know what? I'm, I'm honored. I'm honored. Thank you. Thank you, man. I am, I'm honored that you still have the, the glasses. Yeah, man. I've been, I've <laughs> and you're wearing them. it. You're yeah. wearing it. <laughs> I have it too. There you hey, go. Throw them on, dude. There you go, boss. It's all about the perks. Yes, sir. How are you doing today, man? How's your day going so far? Pretty good, dude. Just smashed uh, some cheesy over easy eggs, a little potatoes, bacon, oh, fresh yeah? fruit. Nice, Ready nice. Go. Got a little shift coming up here. You work, be, going to work? Yeah, it's going to be a terrible night. I already know it. You think so? Yeah, no one's going to come out of this shift. <laughs> oh, good though, man. I'm, I'm up for an easy night. Yeah, how's the uh, rain brings more customer or what? No, I mean less. My restaurant that I work at now, it's like it's like when it's really busy, it's all about like the outside patio scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. So less busier. Oh yeah. And uh, because of the summer. Yeah, hey, I'm, I'm all for it. I know it's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy for the. For next sure, man. No. I was in the city uh, a couple days ago, and I yeah. went. And How it was, many numbers did you get? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I uh, think I didn't. Come on, Shrek. Nah. No, man. <laughs> uh, so what happened is I went there. We we were going, and uh, it was raining. It was raining, and I saw man people jumping in, going in the restaurants. I was not able to get a table uh, around like six, seven o'clock. Until six, seven o'clock? No, no, no. At six, seven o'clock, I went to the restaurants and I was not able to get any tables because of rain. Yeah, I mean that's like that's like peak hours, especially. If oh, those raining, are peak hours. Just, like, like, yeah, six o'clock, seven o'clock. Those are the two biggest times mm -hmm. right there. I thought that the peak hours usually are like nine, or is it too late for it's, people? No, that's. I mean, like, think about it. All right, so yeah. if you have a family going out, right? Yes, sir. Like you're not gonna want to eat breakfast or a uh, dinner at nine o'clock at night. Like true, you're not true. gonna get home until like what eleven o'clock. You got kids and shit. Yeah. Like usually, I mean nine o'clock. I just I, the biggest. I always think about it. Like people that come in at like nine fifty. Uh. -huh. Just like smashing dinner for the first time that night. Like what are you fucking do? Like. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't just have a bite to eat at like six o'clock all day. Yeah. When did you eat breakfast? One o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, that's me, bro. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's I, me. I literally said it, and then I just thought to myself, like, you, you just had eat. a breakfast you too. Don't eat. You don't. Eat. <laughs> I just said it. God damn it. We we caught ourselves. Uh, we caught ourselves. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Things happen, you know. <laughs> but man, what do you do uh, uh, other than work? Other than work? Yeah. I just uh, played a softball game last night. Mm -hmm. I love that shit. Me and my boys, we play actually right out here. It's like right by Nikwa. Okay. Valley. But dude, this piece of human garbage that we played against last night just ruined the entire experience for everybody. <laughs> it was so bad. Why like, is that? Okay, so... I'm just gonna be completely honest. This is yeah. he's just this big fat dude on the other team, right? <laughs> big fat dude on the other team. Just let, let's paint a picture here. Yeah. He's wearing orange cleats, mm -hmm. American flag pajama pants, mm -hmm. an American flag baseball jersey. Mm -hmm. He's wearing a neon green glove. Yeah. Big fat beard, probably right around five seven. Whoa. And like like a purple hat, and this guy was the biggest piece of shit <laughs> to every single person, including his own teammates, ever. So like my buddy got in like a this little pickle, like and he got tagged out, and he's just like this really quiet guy, like nice guy, great baseball player, and the guy just goes, "Good fucking try, pussy," and I'm I'm staying there. I hear him say it. I'm like. Okay, let's see if he wants to say anything back before I say some shit. <laughs> and he just, my buddy just turns around and just like takes off his sunglasses, just like, yes or no, bro, let's like, yes or no. And I'm like, cars, get back to the fucking dog out, we're good. I go up to the guy, or I go to the guy, you better shut your fucking mouth mm -hmm. before I shut it for you, bro. This is supposed to be fun for everybody. You don't have, look at yourself, dude. You look like a fuck. I didn't say that yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yet. So, a couple, like, whatever, it goes down. He, I guess, had been drinking like, like uh -huh. for hours before he got there. He goes up to the, so like, it's just softball, underhand pitch softball. All of you guys were drunk. 
while praying. No, he he we was. Don't, we, yeah, no, we okay. don't do like that because this is like this is like twelve inch hardball softball. Mm, so yeah, it's yeah, quick. it can hit you. Yeah, yeah, it's quick. So he he's like always he goes up to the pitcher, grabs the ball from his own pitcher. Oh. Because my buddy that he was talking shit to, he just keeps chirping like, "Oh, you guys are such fucking pussies!" Like all this shit. And this is coming from a dude, dude. This is coming from a dude that's yeah. wearing what I explained, like the biggest joke of a athlete I've ever seen in my mm-hmm. life. He's just making everything worse for everybody, which we talked about last time. Why, why, why would you make anything worse for anybody? You're just here yes. to have fun, like yeah, be enjoy, kind, be, be nice, kind, whatever. And all the other people on his team are really nice too, dude. He he takes the ball from his pitcher because he knows my buddy's about to come up. Uh-huh. So there's a man on first base. Do you know baseball? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man on first base. He intentionally walks the next guy. Yeah. My buddy's not up next, but he's up right after. He 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 rolls the ball. He rolls the ball on the fucking ground, basically, yeah. to to walk the next guy, so uh-huh. that my buddy had the bases loaded with two outs. And dude, this kid ropes ropes like really good hit. yeah it was the f- most and he's and he's talking shit like like drunk talking shit it yes. doesn't happen like you know what I mean? yeah 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 he's talking shit like fuck you he's like looking at me he's like he you wants to like be competitive standing against the fence you little bitch i'm like dude what the fuck like whatever my buddy's up base mm-hmm. is loaded two dead i think we were tied or something like that mm-hmm. and he hits the biggest, like the most monster grand slam, like absolute moonshot over the fence, home run, grand slam, and we were going fucking crazy, <laughs> going fucking crazy, and it was it was just such poetic justice to watch yes. this guy, like he's literally like he's like like pump faking the ball, like about to pitch it to him, he's like, oh yeah, you gonna hit one, you gonna hit one, and he just, I knew he was going to, yeah. So, it was so awesome. Was, he got what was coming to me, beat the shit out of him. I mean, not like fighting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, in the in the game, <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, we beat him. That, that's that's where the real revenge is. It's so it. funny how like that. And you could even see his teammates like embarrassed, like that he's on his. They're on his team. Like mm-hmm. you can take the entire the entire energy and flip it upside down just by one guy being <laughs> like an absolute. Yes, of course. Run, run, run. You know, but no. Who who are those people? Uh, there was, I mean, I, I can't remember what the team name was. I can look it up. What, like, uh, were you, did you guys have, a, like, a league dudes. or something like oh, that? Oh, yeah, no, yeah, it's Neighborville Men's A-League. Oh, okay. Is it open for people or uh, only specific people can join? Um, I mean, it's, it's kind of like you get a team together and then oh, you, okay. like, so all, all the teams are sponsored by, like, local business. Nice. So we have, uh, we used to be Crosstown Pub and Grill. It's this, like, like, mm-hmm. wing place. It's really yes. good if you're a bunch of us. We, uh, we're White's Tavern now. Mm-hmm. Do they pay you guys, or they just uh, pay for the, the merchandise and they stuff that us, you... They give us uh, $1,000 a year for the uh, league fee, and then they buy us jerseys, too. Oh, okay. So $1,000 in between the all team members, or just uh, each person? Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you never know, you know? That'd be you know? so sick. Yeah, you, you never know. What like, can come through? Yeah, no, I mean, there are, there are like, travel, like, softball clubs like that, but no, we, uh, we get $1,000 a year for the league fee, and then they buy us jerseys, they give us all sorts of, like, free drinks after, after oh, shit. Thing, so. Nice, nice. Oh, so you guys get some good perks then. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's better than, uh, I mean, it's like the perfect way to play sports, like, yes. you get your jerseys, you get your fees out of the way, and you just go and... Yeah, yeah, enjoy the game, yeah. play, have fun. And uh-huh. the thing is, we always... Oh, but that is a good part. Like, you know? I'm, I'm not saying it's like it's an easy league. Like this yeah. is a good ass league. Like, it's probably the best league in the, in the local area. The, the softball is fun. Uh, I used to play the softball in high school as well. Uh, I play cricket now. Uh, Dude, okay. I've always thought about it. Like, yeah. so you mean you play baseball in high school? Mm-hmm. Baseball. I, I'm not not high school, not professionally, but you know, you, when you have that gym gym lecture. Or gym period. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. like that. I played it. I didn't oh, play it in like high school. High school. But you didn't like play that. like baseball or anything. I played it. Like like for the team. No. Nah. No. 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 But I know how to play it. I played a uh, softball. I play. The reason I know it and I'm somewhat good at it is because the cricket. 
cricket so you, is so very you knew similar. cricket before softball? Oh, yeah, I've been playing cricket ever since I'm like five years old. All right, so, okay, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Professional baseball player. Yeah. Okay. Mike Trout, best okay. hitter in the league, right? Yeah. Goes and plays cricket, is he the best player immediately? Uh, of course. Yeah? Of course uh, not. Okay, so like Maybe the hitting wise, yeah. Mediocre cricket player. Yeah. Or, or, or no, mediocre baseball player. Like in the major league, say mm -hmm. like, you know, like whatever. Just uh, MLB is second. playing for. But like he's, he's in the he's major league baseball player. Uh. Wouldn't he just go tear up cricket? Uh, uh, like, I mean, I, I think like, okay, cricket, you gotta fucking paddle. Uh -huh. I think I could just bomb those things. The, the, the only part, the, the difference between cricket and boss, baseball, and I feel that the, the, it would be very hard to compare to the really? player. It's because in the baseball, you hit direct. What is going on? Oh, yeah, and then yeah. It's, it's a 360 degree thing. Yes, in cricket, in cricket it's the, the ball, it hit the ground first, and then it come to you, second. So that's where the judgment comes, uh, like a little bit back and, you can, and forth. And you can put different spin on the ball. Yeah, 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 to yeah, like yeah, make yeah. it like do something mm -hmm. off the hop. Yes, yeah. So you know those those things can bring some differences. I still the, think that major league. If, okay, so like if, if a major league baseball team, so say like just like the New York Yankees. Yes. Wanted to field a cricket team, could mm -hmm. they beat the best cricket team in the world? I don't think so. No, no. Well, definitely not. Not not the best cricket team in the world for sure. But they can try and play, see how the thing goes. And I'm sure there will be comparison videos in YouTube that they have taken one person from baseball, put it in a cricket. They yeah. take a one person from cricket, put it in a baseball, see how that goes. I'm sure there will be something like that on YouTube. I never done a research, but there would be a nice topic or thing to learn. I would just think that they would be hitting bombs every time. Oh yeah, the, the, for sure. The another difference is uh, the speed that they measure on uh, baseball. Are they mile per hour or yeah, mile, per hour. mile per hour? Right. What, what is a cricket bowl? Cricket this is called bowling, right? Uh, sorry. Bowl like what, what pitcher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's called bowler. Ball, bowling. Yeah, bo bo baller. And over there, the ball goes kilometers per hour. Okay, so what and it's slower than baseball. Right. So that would be another factor like, what, to see. How fast is a pitch? It's slower than slower than baseball for sure. Because really? so it's like not like a hundred miles per hour. Less than that for sure. Less than that. Like, because, a, like ninety miles an hour. Uh, no, under, no, like ninety miles an hour is like sixty different. seventy. Okay. Sixty seventy. Dude, I could do it. I you, know I could. Do yeah, it. because the reason is it hit the ground. Yeah. That's why the speed slows down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, and in baseball, right. it goes direct. And baseball is throw, so you f you use more power. And on the bowling, you run and throw the ball. Yeah. So you know those are some different factors, which can differentiate as a <laughs> bowling perspective okay, and batting so, perspective. So imagine if a so like a Raldis Chapman, he's been like a closer for so many baseball teams mm -hmm. in the area, or like. Yankees, Cubs, he went, I can't remember where else he went, <laughs> but he, he throws 102 miles an hour, right? Whoa. 102 miles an hour. If he got a running start it with a cricket ball, bro, he'd be like pumping probably, I mean, even off the ground, like 90. Mm -hmm. Could somebody hit that? Uh, the, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. I mean, there are, just, like, deflect? there are ballers who have throw balls for 90 to 100 miles per hour, fast oh, okay. ballers. That, that we have, like, not we, but like, cricket has those amazing ballers, um, like uh, Shahid Afridi, I think he was a very fast baller. Okay. Then uh, a couple other people, I'm not very... So there are, like, some, like, freaks like that that oh, can, yeah. like, get it up Oh, there. yeah, crazy, crazy. Crazy it's kind of the same balls. concept as I don't know. You know, Jay, you're from Chicago, right? I'm from Chicago. You know, I'm, Jay Cutler. Jay so, Cutler, yeah, the okay. bodybuilder. So, no, Jay Cutler. Oh, no, different. There's, <laughs> there's two. There's the Chicago. Then I don't know. The Bears quarterback. I don't know. No, no. Okay, no. he was he was a Bears quarterback for I think like five six years, and he's on this he's on this podcast that I listen to sometimes. Part of my take, and he and he said, so you know the sport handball in the Olympics. Mm. Handball, yeah, the, you throw the ball and yeah, you, uh, and you yeah, just yeah, run yeah. around and you throw as hard as you can, you try and score yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. He said, if you gave me, like, I, I can't remember, like three months or something like that, uh -huh. he's dude, and he had, he had a rocket arm quarterback, yes. professional National Football League quarterback, rocket arm. Give me three months and, like, I get to pick out 
couple other football players, maybe even some baseball players. Mm -hmm. I could go to the Olympics and win gold. Whoa. And all these handball people were just fucking up in Laughing. About it. Like, no, you could not you Then what really happened? He obviously never did it, but it's like oh. the same thing as like, could an NFL quarterback made a hundred million dollars in his career or whatever, how much, like, can... Can you go hop into these, like, kind of, like, I'm not saying that cricket's an obscure sport, but like, handball, where it's kind of an obscure sport, cricket, like, it's not very well known around here. Yeah. Could somebody just go and just take over that entire league? But you know the difference between that is when you reach to that kind of certain level, you can only focus on one thing. If you're trying to jump on two, three things, what happened is oh, yeah. injuries. Injuries is the biggest. He's, he, he retired from the NFL. Okay. Yeah, so he like, I mean, like, he's not even NFL. like a young dude anymore. He's just like, I can go take over this sport. How? how? And honestly, I believe it. Okay. Like, he's got like he got such good hands. You got, he's throwing like footballs at, you know, 60 miles an hour. Like, it's just like, oh. what are you going to do? And he, he didn't even try it or anything? No, I don't know. He was just talking about it. Oh, okay. It was just like, kind of like comparison, like, could a professional baseball player go kill cricket and can a professional football player go kill handball. Ex-professional player, right? Ex-professional, yeah. Ex-professional player. I mean, man, it would be awesome to see those kind of transitions. I know, they should. But they nobody's should do doing that. it. Besides these these guys, you know, these Logan Paul, Jake Paul people, yeah. right? Yeah, the crossover type. Yes, you know how they are doing. Like, they were YouTubers first and then, yeah. then they got into a box. Oh, you gotta, you gotta say Vine first. Those yeah, are Vines, ones. yes, yes. That's where they started all that thing and then they got into YouTube and transition and transition and transition. And just, uh, they are slowly changing the game, but... Um, it would be so cool. But yeah, besides yeah. that, nobody else is trying some new things. I mean, yeah. people are, but not in a bigger scale, you know? Yeah, like, like not like hundreds of millions of yeah. dollars per fight. Imagine, like, imagine a, 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 a nice up and coming actor learn how to box and get into a boxing ring. Yeah, or like, or yeah, exactly. Right. And now they have all these like athletes that are doing it too. I know that yeah. I think Adrian Peterson, the it was a, he was a running back from uh, the Minnesota Vikings, and I think he went to the Redskins. He he's fighting somebody coming up. Uh huh. Another like ex running back, I think. Yeah, why the hell not? Like, if you're just like a beast of an athlete, like, I mean, they need to believe everything. in themselves as well, you know? Yeah. They need to believe in themselves. They need to see, they have to see the risk and reward ratio as well. Because once you reach the bigger level, ah, the winning is a major factor for them. Hell if yeah. you think about it. Because for them, them. Dude, these guys are hyper competitive. Like, oh, like, yeah. It's something that I like. I mean, I've played sports my entire life. And, like, I just, I just don't have that, like, Oh, give me like a Kobe Bryant or something like that. Like, like yeah. in the gym, you just want to win. I don't give a fuck what it takes. Like, yeah. gonna, it's not about people. Fun. People take it as wrong. I, I, I would say because instead of thinking about winning part, I would personally take it in as a how can I make myself better with this sport. You want to know what I always think about? Yeah. Is how do I make my team better? How can you make your team better? Being being the locker room guy, like being yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Like, like the hype guy, yeah, bro. the captain it's kind of thing. Exactly, that's what I've always tried to be. Yeah. Like, it's all what it comes down to. You could have the best team in the world, and they could all hate each other. Oh, definitely. And it won't work out in sports. Definitely. But if you have a team that you're all boys, best friends, you know, you're going out there just battling together, and you all know like the same vibe. Mm -hmm. It's all about the Yes, the Try connection. Try to tell everybody that. Like, even last night, it's like, this guy's not going to get our vibe down there now, guys. <laughs> Take it as energy, dude. Take the negative energy and flip it. Yeah. It's, it. it's very hard, you know, that people need to understand the concept of the energy. Yeah. And many people don't understand if that. If you don't put positive energy into it, nothing positive is going to come. Yes, sir. Would you like to share something positive today? Since your day is something about to start. Positive? And, sorry to cut you off, but no, my day just started too. All right. You are my first rider for today. Of course. And I mean, you are going to the work. And we have set the energy for today. That's right. I'm not going to believe you. I was a little bit tired. Didn't want it to work today. But after talking to you, I'm feeling a little bit better. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to crush today. 
Hell yeah. gonna date some and you wanna know amazing I want everybody else to crush today too. One positive thing, this is what I like to do sometimes. I'll go stop at like Walgreens or like a bakery on the way to work. I'm gonna do it today actually. Yeah. And just treat everybody to either like some nice donuts or like candy. Yeah. They want. Yeah, that would be a nice thing to do actually. That would be a positively rain to bring no matter what. Yes, sir. If the people around you are happy, not even comfortable, but happy and just like a little motivated, like let's go do this. Like let's go get this money or whatever. Of course. It's, it's always going to be better. I'm dropping you off here? Yeah, yeah it's the one with that American flag right in the front. Oh, right. Here you go, boss. It was very nice talking to you, Patrick. Sure. Amazing seeing you again, and I hope to see you again as well. Hey, wait, wait, here, let's do a little uh, cheers with the sunglasses. Oh, yes, sir. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Have a great day. You as well, bro. <laughs> Take care. Thank you, man. Oh, oh that, was, ah. that was smooth, though. <laughs> Take care, boss. Oh, Take my. care.